Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. The scanner class in Java is a part of the java.util package and is used for obtaining input from various sources, including user input from the console. In this tutorial, we will go over how to use the scanner class, including the import statement, and provide code examples to illustrate its functionality. Hashtag 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 1. Understanding the import statement. To use the scanner class in your Java program, you need to import it at the beginning of your code. The import statement for the scanner class is as follows. This statement tells the Java compiler to include the scanner class from the java.util package, which allows you to create scanner objects for reading input. Hashtag 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 2. Using the scanner class. The scanner class provides various methods to read different types of input, such as strings, integers, and floating point numbers. Below are some common methods provided by the scanner class. Next line, reads a line of text. Next, reads the next token, word. Next int, reads an integer value. Next double, reads a double value. Next boolean, reads a boolean value. Hashtag 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 3. Example code. Here's a simple Java program that demonstrates how to use the scanner class to read user input from the console. Hashtag 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 4. Explanation of the example code. One import statement. The program starts with the import statement to include the scanner class. 2. Creating a scanner object. A scanner object named scanner is created, which takes system.in as an argument. This allows the program to read input from the console. 3. Reading input. The program prompts the user to enter their name, age, and height. The next line, next int, and next double, methods are used to read the respective types of input. For displaying output, after collecting the input, the program displays a greeting message that includes the user's name, age, and height. 5. Closing the scanner. Finally, the scanner.close method is called to close the scanner object and free up resources. It's a good practice to close the scanner when it is no longer needed. Hashtag 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 5. Important notes. Always close the scanner object when it's no longer needed to prevent resource leaks. When using next int, next double, etc., ensure that the input matches the expected type, otherwise, it will throw an input mismatch exception. If you call next line, after using next int, or next double, be aware that it may read the new line character left in the input buffer. You might need to call an additional next line, to consume that new line. Hashtag 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 conclusion. The scanner class is a powerful way to handle user input in Java applications. By following this tutorial, you should now have a good understanding of how to use the scanner class, including how to import it and read various types of input from the console. Feel free to experiment with the methods and create your own programs that utilize user input.